Shiny! <gasps> Jamesy boy is loving our Disney sing-along on the way to Disney property during the day on a Friday! Woohoo! little baby. So dad is getting situated working inside. Um, we'll find him eventually but it is in the high 70s today. It is so nice. It has not felt this warm in a long time. So we're gonna walk around as long as Jamesy boy is happy. He's probably gonna be ready to eat his second lunch soon. Um, but we're gonna just bask. It's so beautiful out. They've got Grand Floridian bags out. People are enjoying the chairs. It's even been a while since we've seen people enjoying the pool. We met dad in the lobby. Had a snack and a diaper change. And now we're gonna stroll. work on a Friday. I truly don't know what is. Top two favorite resort right here. Especially when Wes is here. When Wes is here, it's probably my favorite resort. It's four o'clock. Wes just came out for his second set. I think Sarah and James are still outside. They should be coming in soon because they missed Wes's first set. Um, but they're enjoying beautiful outdoors. Here's a cute picture Sarah sent me while I was working. So I'm actually, I think I'm going to close up shop around 4.30 today, so not too much longer. But pretty great afternoon. have had quite the adventure. Um, we've been strolling, having a good time. He's been awake and happy. Um, we did have to do two costume changes actually. He got some spit up on him and I changed him. And then he went to the bathroom again and a little bit got on so I changed his, um, his onesie again. He's gotta be fresh. Um, but then he got hungry so I've been like inching my way towards the lobby. Um, I stopped on a bench and now I'm on these chairs, um, but he doesn't want to go in the bassinet and he must be very, very hungry because he's just not having it. Honestly, I more so think that he's tired because he had fallen asleep when we first got here and I had to wake him up to change him. And so I think that he's just like ready for his salad late afternoon nap. But eventually I will make it to see Wes. I know Peter's been enjoying him, um, and I know he'll be there into the evening, so hopefully this is our last stop until we make it there. Look who made it to the show. And you hear what song? All right, Wes's well, five o'clock set just ended, so we're gonna put in our dinner order at Gasparilla, some Impossible Burgers, and a treat Sarah doesn't know about. And we're gonna walk on over there and then eat outside before we head on over to Epcot for the evening. Excited? Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous out, right? Yeah, it's so nice. We might see the Petruses. Yeah. If not, we'll just enjoy Epcot. Here we go. Nothing like our warm-ish evening out by the water. 
Right here, the minor on the back, we got french fries and an impossible burger. House made chips and an impossible burger. And this almond tart. Almond Looking tart. delicious. Sarah didn't know about it. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm so ready. Woo. I feel like I haven't had so much of Disney World's plant based burgers or beyond. Um, I feel like I haven't had an impossible in so long. They're so good. I like them so They're much so more than Beyond. Better. There's a place on in in I think London from the Somebody Feed Phil episode that looks even better. And it's not even pro, like processed. It's, it's just like straight celery root. celery root and other veggies. That's what I want to try. He's so happy. He's been having a uh, just you know. When you're growing, sometimes you got the, the cranks a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he's like, you know what? I'm not in the mood to look at you, Dad. Keep me, <laughs> keep me turned away. But he is the best. Yeah. He's got a full tummy. He's definitely due for a nap. Uh -huh. But he likes the dad sways, so. Unless he's trying to fight the nap. Oh. Which is what happened like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> look at that beautiful castle. We're packing up, we're gonna walk through the front of Grand Floridian and get back to the car. Depending on James is, because he was fighting a nap, we may go to Epcot or we may just go straight home. Depends on how he's feeling once we get to the car. But this is one of my favorite views. The music, the lights, the monorail in the distance, the castle, the reflections on the water. It's one of the loves of my life. He's a big kid. Being held by his mom like he's a big kid, just chilling. Chilling on his mom's shoulder. We had a couple toots and a couple of big burps, so we might have discovered the culprit yeah. of the no nap session. Yeah. Steve, you're so happy to see us. We're home. Just kidding, she's not happy to see us. She's happy because I ran into Walgreens to grab some photos. And I picked up a treat for her. Sit. Uh, let me dish it. Just so you know, Ashley, if you're watching this from Zero Soon, Sarah and I do everything together. Except apparently right now, Sarah's about to go hang out, hang out with Ashley on her live stream from Ashley's Lemonade Stand. Also, see you real soon, and I'm gonna watch. And I'm gonna watch this this Discovery Plus because I accidentally purchased a month of Discovery Plus. I am a sucker for the free trials, and then I never cancel it, and Sarah's always like, did you cancel? I'm like, yeah, I'll cancel, and then I don't cancel, then we see like a $150 charge on our, on our account. It's never been 150 The one time it was 80 Yeah, but we got Ooh. that figured out. But we didn't get this figured out, so we were doing Discovery Plus for a month. So Whose voice is this? Would never have even started without it. David Attenborough. Our baby is waking up, but I just wanted to point out this is the very last pickle from that ridiculous jar I bought from Publix a couple weeks ago. Sarah and I are sharing it. Oh, not every day I come here with a sun rail in the station, but I am running earlier today. So I think I said it earlier, or maybe it was the other day, I don't know. But this weekend including, there's just five weekends left here in Florida, which is very scary. Like it's that soon. One weekend, we're going out to visit my buddy Steve from Tampa. Um, another weekend, we're gonna go to Kennedy Space Center one last time. One last time. I butchered that, sorry everybody. Especially musically inclined people like my wife and the Earhearts. Um, we also wanna go to Universal. At least one more, probably two more times. But we wouldn't back to back that, so that means like two more weekends kind of pre-ish planned, which means only one weekend that's not pre-planned, and that would essentially be this weekend. Um amongst all the trips to Disney left and packing and visiting other people to say goodbye. Just for now, not forever. So it's a little stressful. Plus, you know, my company acquired uh a new company and starting new business ventures and everything that I'm highly involved in so it's not like work is a cakewalk right now but these runs help my mind ease so that's good 
I have to start running because I realize that when I talk too long, my watch says, hey, you're at your recovery heartbeat, which probably means I've been talking too long. So I gotta go. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're, you're growing up so fast. I want you to grow up and to be so happy, but I didn't think it would happen so fast. Oh. Where did my newborn baby go? Where'd he go? Oh, oh goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> what the heck? That's a delicious hand. That's a yummy hand. Really? Yeah. We have so much fun, right? Oh my god! You got stories. You do. Yeah? I can't even interrupt you. Can't <laughs> even have a conversation. Is this the first Jamesy ramble? I think so. Yeah? And you saw the Cinderella castle? <gasps> <laughs> you did. You did, you Julikins. <gasps> Oh goodness. Well, what are we <laughs> <laughs> The Daily Message, the twenty second. Time has a wonderful way of showing us what really matters. Margaret Peters. Well, I didn't get much time with him today. Mm -hmm. So Sarah's gonna pump and I'm gonna feed him this model. Yeah. I just got like super tired. Well it is almost one in the morning. <sighs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.